Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 32. Let's take some example. This is one easy question where there is a set S has value 1 to 3. And there is a function from S to S that is 1 to 3 to 1 to 3. We have to find whether inverse exists. There are three scenarios. In one case, you have this, other case this, and third case is this. Let's solve one by one. Let's take scenario one first. In scenario one, f1 is pointing to 1, 2 is pointing to 2, and 3 is pointing to 3. This scenario, if you see, is 101. Correct? Because any numbers, only one injection coming. And also on 2, because there is no orphan. So this is bijective because this is, this is injective, this is surjective and if since this is injective and surjective both, it is bijective. So inverse exists for this. Inverse exists and say yes. If inverse exists, what will you do? We just flip it. So if you flip it, you will get something like this. Same thing actually you will get. If you flip it, you will get the same thing. You will get from 1, 2, 3. Flip this, you get same 1, 2, 3. So this is my inverse function. Second is, let's do second now. 1, 2, 3 and here also 1, 2, 3. From 1 it goes to 2, 2 it goes to 1 and 3 it goes to 1. You see here, this guy is orphan here. So it is not on to. Also 1 has 2 injection coming in. So it is not injective also. It is not 101. It is not 101. Since it is not 101, it is not onto. Since that's why it is not invertible. So it is not invertible. We'll take third scenario. Again from S to S, it has value 1 to 3. This guy will also have value 1 to 3. F1 is equal to 3. F3 is equal to 2. And F2 is equal to 1. If you see here, there is no often element. So it is onto here. Also, if you see, for any numbers, there is only one injection coming in. So it is 101 also. 101 means injective. Onto means surjective. Since it is both 101 and onto, it is bijective. Bijective means inverse exists. To find the inverse, just flip it up. So this is 1 to 3. This is 1 to 3. So here, 1 goes to 2. So 1 will go to 2, flip. 2 comes from 3, so 2 goes to 3 here. And 3 comes from 1, so 3 goes to 1. This is my invertible function here. Very simple. First thing, find if it is 1 over 1 and on 2. If it is 1 over 1 and on 2, that is it's a bijective, inverse exists. If exists, flip it, you get the inverse. If not, you can just say inverse doesn't exist. We'll take one more scenario. So there is a function f defined from 1, 3, 4 to 1 to 5. 1 to 5. This is function g defined from 1 to 5 to 1, 3. Correct. Where f1 is equal to 2. This one, 1, 2 is a pair. 3, 5 is a pair. And 4, sorry, 1 is equal to pointing to 2 actually. Not much. And 4, 1 is a pair. Let me draw this again. 1, 3, 4. This is 1, 2, 5. And this is 1, 3. 1, 2 is a pair because this is a function f. 3, 5 is a pair. And 4, 1 is a pair. Similarly for g. 1, 3 is a pair, 1, 3 is a pair, 2, 3 is a pair, and 5, 1 is a pair. We have to find g of f. To find g of just merge these two. So what we will get? 1, 3, 4. And here I am getting 1, 2. With 1 as input, I get 2 here. Now with 2 as input, I got 3 here. So 1 will point to 3. For 3 as input, I got 5 here. For 5 as input, I got 1 here. So 3 points to 1. With 4 as input, I got 1 here. With 1 as input, I got 3 here. 
so 4.3 so this is my GOF very simple I can very well write this as GOF as 1 3 3 1 4 3 this is my GOF in this example we have to find GOF and FOG if fx is equal to mod x and gx is equal to mod of 5x minus 2. In the second case, fx is equal to 8x cubed and gx is equal to x to the power of 1 by 3. Let's solve the first part. So if we find g of f is nothing but g of fx. This is nothing but g of mod x because fx is mod x and this is nothing but 5 of mod x minus 2 and that is my answer and to find f of g this is nothing but f of gx and this is nothing but f of 5x minus 2 and this is nothing but mod of 5x minus 2 again double mod and that is almost same right that is equal to single mod only is nothing but 5x minus 2. So I got f of g and g of for first case. Now I am solving the second case. It will draw this line here. For second case, I have to find g of this is again nothing but g of fx and this is nothing but g of fx is 8x cube and this is nothing but 8x cube to the power 1 by 3 and that comes out to be 2x. Similarly, f of g f to find this is nothing but f of gx. Very simple, just solve it. This is nothing but f of gx is nothing but x to the power 1 by 3. And this is nothing but 8 into x to the power 1 by 3 to the power 3. And this becomes 8x. So this is 2x, this is 3x. Let's take some more example. fx is equal to 4x plus 3 by 6, x minus 4, where x is not equal to 2 by 3, obviously, because if we make x equal to 2 by 3, this becomes infinite 0. So the whole thing becomes infinite. We have to prove that f of f of x is equal to x. We have to find the inverse of f. So let's find f of f of x. This is nothing but f of fx. And this is nothing but f of fx is 4x plus 3 by 6x minus 4. And this, if you solve, this will become 4 into instead of x, I'll put this value 4x plus 3 by 6x minus 4 plus 3 divided by 6 into 4x plus 3 by 6x minus 4 minus 4 minus that is the value okay. so if you solve this if you solve this I won't solve this if you solve this what you will get is x thus we can see that f of f is x f of, f of x is Correct. Thus, we can say that f is invertible. And the inverse is f itself. F inverse is f itself. Why? Because f of f of x is x only. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.